Give us a little history of the band, like what year did you start, how did you guys all meet? Well, uh, we started, uh, it's been 2008, actually the end of 2008, we, uh, we actually, Sam, Sam placed a MySpace ad to, uh, looking for musicians to start a power metal band out of all things. He kind of did it, as far as I remember you telling me, Sam, he kind of said, oh, I'm just going to throw it out there, it's never going to happen sort of thing. It's hoping. Yeah. Um, it's hope. And Wolf and I actually happened to already be attempting the power metal genre, you know, out, out of in a different city. And uh, Wolf found the ad and we met and, and, and started it, basically, okay. because we we're, were two people doing the same thing and we became one. So what are you guys working on today? Uh, we're finishing up keyboards and, and vocals. We're at the tail end of, of the entire album. Yeah. Cool. How long have you guys been in the studio for? Uh, you've been in two months now, right? Yeah. One month. One month. One, One month. month. Four yes. Well, I, yeah, four weekends. Now <laughs> this is our fourth weekend. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, our fourth weekend. Well, so really, eight days. days. So <laughs> it's not bad. Actually, it's pretty quick, considering a lot of other bands take take time. <laughs> Maybe we could have used the time, but um, we got it done, and I'm proud of it. So, oh, yeah, we've been working on the material a long time, so yeah. we yeah. come in, you know, potentially well prepared. Well prepared. So. So. And you guys have pretty, uh, pretty much like a really elaborate mythology behind your music too. So could you tell us a little bit about that and what this album's going to be about? What we yeah. can expect? I'll go for that one. Nope. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, what lore? Yeah. Um, I don't know so real on that tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the uh, the the world. It's it's fast karma, so there's an epic saga that takes place within within a realm we call the world Melosia. This particular album is taking place in Tarantia, which is a continent, if you want to call it that, um, that is in turmoil because of an invasion of Dark Elves from Raylith. That's Raylith being the, the bad guys, Tarantith being the good guys, epic saga of good and evil. That's that's really, that's the summary of it. Um, so we could go fun. on for you know yeah. two days if you want. It's all on our website. We, we pride ourselves in putting up lore to let the fans and immerse themselves as much as they want, yeah. and it's gonna it's gonna help a lot when when the album comes out, you know, because when you have a, an hour long album, you you kind of you're only gonna get so much even that. Yeah, it's still a summary, so people are gonna say, hey, who's Canton? Hey, who's you know what's Rayleigh? Who's this? Who's that? What's happening? Why did that just happen in the song? Time to write the book. <laughs> yeah, so they can look it up. They can. There's gonna be cross references all the time. People can can get immersed in it, like I said. So it's really a, a cool deal. It's cool that everyone's on board with it as well, yeah. and wanting to do a fantasy power metal band, let alone power metal. Yeah, so. well, it can't be easy too to yes. even sometimes keep track of it without you know a book to reference or without uh, you know to, to explain it to your fans, some of whom might not be familiar with like fantasy fiction and stuff like that. Too. Sure. So it's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, we. I mean, we continually write lore. You know, everyone's coming up with ideas, and you know. Someone will ask somebody else, you know, hey, what happens here or what happens there? Well, I don't remember. <laughs> exactly. So let me look it up. You know, it's that intense, you know. Yeah, we've written it, but, well, let's see exactly how it is. You know, when a lyric line comes in, why is this happening? Oh, uh, well, this is why it's happening, you know, so. And then, like, ideas develop over oh, time, sure. too. Oh, sure. So yeah. it helps. Kind of constantly it helps. Oh, yeah. You know, doing a concept album like that, that was one of the first discussions as the Heralds of the Sword, even before we decided upon a name, are we going to go this direction or this direction? We all knew it's going to be a big task to do a concept album, mm -hmm. and we all said, "Okay, it's you know, why not?" Yeah, it sounded impossible to me at first when they came. They right approached along, not just one album, but yeah. many that we're already writing for the second. It's yeah. just uh, wow. I mean, sure, the concepts are still just going. The ideas, the flow, the everything, the lore. It's just continuing and continuing. Thanks, Adam. Thanks, <laughs> Wolf. <laughs> and then, so the Heralds of the Sword are actually characters within your mythology, Correct. though, and they're questing for a crystal. I think I read on the website. Um, yeah, uh, we can. The summary of it is they they have the blue crystal already. It's more of a a, a protection of the blue crystal. Mm -hmm. um, 
you know, the, the swords they use have the power of the blue crystal. Look at the blue crystal as the most powerful object in the world. King Canthar controls that crystal within himself. The bad guys are trying to get that. You know, when, when somebody good has something powerful, then they, they generally will use it for, for good. Mm -hmm. But if evil can get that power, it's going to be a bad a bad day for everybody, basically. So it's it's life or death. You know, you protect this blue crystal or else. And that's what the story is about. The story is about the invasion of, of Raylith, Lord Lodak, General Darklin, trying to find the blue crystal. So you'll have to wait for the album to decide what happens to the blue crystal. So. Okay. So where do you guys draw inspiration from? Like other bands, books, TV, film? It has uh -huh. to be not other Yes. Everything yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just named. Dungeons and Dragons, video games, power metal in general, yeah. uh, all fantasy movies. I mean, it's where it comes from. Nice. I grew up in the 80s. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's really fun. <laughs> you, know, you know, we don't we don't ever claim to say, hey, everything we do is original. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Here it is. Because it's not. Elves, dwarfs, magic, dark elves, swords. It's all been done before, but for some people exactly. love it. Yeah, for <laughs> centuries. People love it, so we love it. We're given we're given more putting it out there. So put our own twist on. Yeah. It's not to say we don't have original ideas when it comes to the lore. We'll come up with things, but you know, it's very difficult to do after everything that's that's come, you know, with, with Tolkien and, and and you know, Rhapsody of Fire's lore. Any yeah. any lore that's been created, you know, it's hard it's hard to match the greats, obviously. But we're we're, uh, we're sure to help try. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. So those are some of your guys' favorite bands too, obviously. Oh yeah, yeah Rhapsody of Fire for sure. Yeah, you know, yes. uh, yeah. Drop some names. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many. I mean, we all have different influences. In, Killed on Fire Quest. Yeah. I mean, it, the list goes on. Yeah. yeah. Just not just bars. power metal. We have. It's yeah. all metal, all music in general. Yeah, there's a lot of music that's outside yeah, of the industry that really influenced me. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Well, our inspirations, you know, you could take each person from the band, ask what their inspirations are. They'll all come from different directions, but they all meet in one place. Mm -hmm. And it's it's part of why we feel what we're doing with Heralds of the Sword is is how it's coming together. Why it's why it's great in our mind because of that diversity of of musicianship, mm -hmm. and it's. It's, it's worked. It's worked in, in our favor, definitely. We really enjoy what we're doing. Yeah, it's fun seeing the um, people come with their swords and their mm -hmm. Viking hats yeah. and, and dressed. I saw a couple guys dressed up. For and the not caring and just being immersed yeah. in the world and actually knowing the lore that they tell you things like you you didn't even know had like written about or or even. Um, yeah. 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 That's exactly right. Sometimes I forget. That's the reason we, we write it or he, he writes it. Sometimes I forget. You know, like no no author ever remembers what they wrote. I mean, if you tell you know, on that page three hundred of your novel, you talked about this. Really, I don't remember. You know? Yeah, that's just it's just cool to see they know more stuff than we know about our own. They study it more than we. They do. They know our lore better than we do sometimes, and it's kind of funny. That, you know, which is cool. I mean, I love. I totally support all the cosplay and everything. You know, yeah, like, bring it on. You guys need bigger CD cases to fit a bigger booklet in there with yeah. like a glossary well, and stuff in there. Well, <laughs> that's getting in the top secret there. Yeah, you who knows what will be in the album. Yeah, just wait. I want to cut yeah. that part out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. So I actually found out about you guys through the Project Independent tour that was happening last month with Metal Sonaz. What was it like to play that for you guys? It was fantastic. It was amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't it was, believe I was there. It was really an honor to, to, okay. to get a call from Jeff Totten from Project Independent mm -hmm. and say, hey, who's Harold Sword sort of question is what he presented to me and, and you know, I, where do I start sort of thing, you know, yeah, without I'm, going into... You know, this guy's calling, you want to play the whiskey? And we're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it was really neat because he was like, you know, talk to the band, see if that's something you want to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Call him right back, yes. Did you talk yeah. to the band? Uh, okay. You know, sort of <laughs> it's like, I talked to him, of course, and they said, yeah, let's play it. But it was really neat to be part of it. And, yeah, yeah. and Project Independent is doing the right thing for the independent musician. It's yeah. really what they're doing is it's phenomenal. And I think they're at the tail end of their their tour at the end of October here. Yeah, they are. You know, so, mm -hmm. man, that's a lot of, a lot of shows, a lot of travel. That's oh, fantastic. Yeah, that they're, they're spreading across the United States. And, 
and we were part of that little little part of the picture, and mm -hmm. it was an honor, yeah. definitely. Big honor. Indeed it was. It was incredibly fun. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's next for you guys after you complete this album? Are you guys going to tour in support of it? Are you playing anytime soon around here? Um, there's a lot of things that are on our plate as far as getting the album done, obviously. You know, the post-production, as far as the printing, what direction we want to go, digitally distribute, you know, get the, get the hard copies out. Um, yeah, you know, a tour could be there. It's something, it's something that's definitely in the future as far as, uh, you know, it won't be till starting till 2012, obviously, in January. So we're lining things up well in advance. We like to do that, you know, rather than be, be, the, be the band that, that says, oh, we have a show in a week. You know, yeah. we like to say we have a show in two or three months, you know. Mm -hmm. We like to line it up that far in advance. You know, time to promote as well. Um, that's that's one thing we take our time is try to promote because we don't want to just play venues and hope people show up. It, would, it defeats the purpose <laughs> sure. of uh, having people in to enjoy our music. So we do take that time, and and um, that's why we're not, you know, we still have a lot on our plate. Like this is, yeah. we have a lot to take care of for this year, and next year is going to be a whole new um, yeah. fun time. Yeah, <laughs> out. It's gonna be 